Hey crochet friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. I'm Maggie and this is Maggie May Crochet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a can koozie. This is a very easy pattern even for the newest crocheter. So in this video, we're going to be crocheting in a continuous round. What that means is we are not going to change rows, we're just going to continuously crochet in a spiral. To crochet in a continuous round, you'll want to use a stitch marker, especially if you're new to crochet. I have some stitch markers here that I can show you. These hook type are my favorite, but I did just recently come across these really cute decorative ones. These are the ones that I learned with, and they're just like a little safety pin. In fact, you could use a safety pin, you could use a paper clip, anything that you can put in between your stitches that will stay there while you're working, just help you keep count. So what you'll need to create the koozie is some cotton yarn. I like this sugar and cream yarn. It's a little stiffer than uh, some of the other cotton yarns that I've used and it doesn't stretch as much as some of the others and I think that's important when you're using uh, it for a koozie, then your koozie won't get all stretched out. You'll need a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, and a darning needle. Okay, so to begin our project, you need to make a magic ring or a magic circle. If you're not familiar with how to make one, I'll show you quickly now, but if you want um, a more detailed tutorial, I'll put one down in the description box below. All right, take your yarn and lay it over two fingers. Hold the yarn with your thumb and bring it around your fingers and cross over. Move your thumb to the center of your X, holding it down and turn your hand over. Take your ring finger and hold the yarn with your ring finger. Take your hook, place it under the first strand of yarn and grab the second. Pull that second strand of yarn under the first and give your hook a twist so that you have a loop on your hook. Now when you do that, you're going to feel the yarn move under your finger. That's your working yarn and that's the yarn we need to grab with our hook. So grab that working yarn with your hook and bring that yarn through your loop. Okay, that's it. Now we need to make six single crochets into our magic circle or magic ring. When we're making our single crochets, we need to make sure that we're making them over two strands of yarn to include this tail because this is the part of the yarn that we're going to pull to cinch up our circle. To make your single crochet, you take your hook, place it into your ring, grab your yarn and pull it through. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull the yarn through those two loops. Bring your hook into your magic circle, grab your yarn, pull it through. Yarn over, pull the yarn, through those two loops. Okay, I should have six single crochets. To count your work, turn your work over and you're going to count your V's. You don't count the yarn that's on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six single crochets. Now to make my ring, I'm going to take the tail and just draw it. And it's going to cinch up my circle. So I have six single crochets in my first row. Now I'm going to be increasing each row by six. So the second row, I need to make 12 single crochets. I'll do that by placing two into each of these single crochets. Remembering that when we place our next row stitches, we're going to be putting our hook under the first and second loop of each of these V's. I also want to try to incorporate my tail so that I don't have to work in the ends when I'm finished. So to do that, I'm gonna be placing my tail over my stitches and then place my stitches over that. 
since I'm doing continuous rounds, I'm not going to join my work and then start a new row. I'm just going to continue working. In order for me to keep count of each row, I'm going to use my stitch marker. I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so I'm laying my tail over my stitches. I'm going to place my hook under the first and second loop of my V, the front and back loop. Remember to bring my tail over, bringing my yarn through, and finishing my first single crochet. Now I'm going to put my stitch marker in because I want to know what was the first stitch of each row so that I can keep count of my rows. So that was my first one. Now I need to place the second single crochet into this first stitch, placing it over that tail, and that's two into the first stitch. Here's my second stitch or my second single crochet. You see my V. I'm going to place my hook under the front and back loop, yarn over and pull through. My second one for that one. Remember two single crochets in each of my single crochets of the first row. And I'm remembering to lay my yarn down across so that I don't have to go back and weave in that end when I'm done. Okay, so I've come to the first stitch because this is where my stitch marker is. Now I'm going to make sure that I have made 12 single crochets by turning my work over and I'm going to count my V's, remembering that the yarn on my hook doesn't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 is where my stitch marker is. So that was my second round. Now I can pull my tail back and get it out of the way. We'll trim it off in just a minute. So for round three, I need to make 18 stitches, right? Three times six is 18. So to do that, I'm going to place one single crochet into the first stitch and then two into the second. That would be my increase. One single crochet into the next, two single crochets into the next one, then two, one, then two, all the way around. And when I've done that, I should have 18 in row three. So I'll begin by placing my first single crochet and I'm going to right away put my stitch marker in so that I don't forget. Now I'll place two single crochets into the next and then one into the next space. Two single crochets, or my increase. And then one in the next. Okay, so I've made it back to my stitch marker. I should have 18 single crochets, turning my work around and counting my V's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 where my stitch marker is. So I can remove it. So round four, I'm going to be making two single crochets and then an increase. So it'll be single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets into the third space. So I begin my round with a single crochet and immediately put my stitch marker in. Whoops. Two. And in my third, I'm gonna make my increase. That means two into this third. 
Okay, so the repeat is one single crochet, two single crochets, and then my increase, placing two into this third. So you'll just continue that all the way around until you meet your stitch marker. Okay, just finished that round, round four. So let's double check that I have the right number. I should have 24 stitches and 24. Perfect. Okay, another round. This will be round five. This time we're going to do three single crochets and then an increase. I'm going to place my stitch marker right back into that first stitch so that I keep my rounds straight. A single crochet into the second, a single crochet into the third, and now my increase. I should have 30. This is row five. Six times five is 30. Now, I want to show you something. Um, you can make your koozie to fit any size can that you want. This base is what's going to determine that. So the can that I used to make, I don't know what size, what is this, a 12 ounce can, um, you would need to do one more row. If you want to do something uh, like a skinnier can, I would stop here, okay? But I want to make this one to fit a regular 12 ounce um, size can, so I'm going to make one more round of increases, I should say. So um, now, let's see, we've done five, this is the sixth row, so I need to have 36 single crochets. So to do that, I'm going to do single crochets into four stitches and then increase into my fifth stitch. So always, I always stop here at the first one and put that stitch marker in because I have done this without using one and uh, to go around and try to find my rows and what number I'm on would be pretty challenging and I'm not up for that. So <laughs> that was my first one. Okay, so I just completed my sixth row, and now I'm done with increasing. Now I'm going to start uh, just placing one single crochet into each of the single crochet stitches that are here. Before I start that seventh row, though, I want to kind of finish things up because we're going to start now making our vertical stitches. I, vertical, I don't know. We're going to start stitching up. <laughs> so to do that, I don't want to have to go back down inside to end my work. So I'm going to take care of that right now to take care of this uh, tail that we talked about. Now I'm going to pull it a little tighter because I want a tighter circle there in the middle. And I'm going to cinch it up just, woo, I think I cinched it a little too tight there. Hold on. All right, just so that it lays kind of nicely. So I'm going to take care of this end right now so I don't have to turn my work inside out when I'm done. To work in your ends, you just need to bring your needle underneath some of the strands that are underneath here. Um, it's not going to be seen through the right side of your work, so it doesn't have to be too, too, you don't have to be too particular about it. Just make sure that you don't see your needle from the other side, because wherever your needle goes, that's where your yarn's going to go. Okay, that's good enough. Let me trim off my tail. And we're going to begin row seven. So things are gonna change just a little bit here. Uh, we're still making our single crochets, but instead of going through both loops of our V, we're only gonna be going into the back loop of the V. That's what's gonna give you this kind of neat 
uh, ridge or rows. Now at this point, you really don't have to keep track of your rows because we're just gonna continue uh, crocheting those single crochets. Um, you can just stop whenever you feel like your koozie is as tall as you want it. I think I've got about 25 rows starting from the center up on this particular one. Um, you can always just have a can close by and stick it down in to your koozie. People have different uh, likes about how close this is to where you're going to be putting your mouth, how high it goes up. So that's up to you how tall you want to make yours, okay? So I'll keep using my um, stitch marker just to show you, but you don't have to use one anymore if you don't want. Now remember, uh, from this row forward, we're going to be creating single crochets, but only in the back loop. So that means I'm putting my hook just into this back loop here and making my single crochet. Now I'm going to mark that stitch just for demonstration purposes, okay? I'm looking at my V's. I'm going into the back loop of the next single crochet and then the back loop of the next. That's all there is to it, guys. This is so simple now. The toughest part is just getting through the increased rows. Now we're just going to keep on repeating and repeating this, my splitting here, single crochet in the back loop all the way around our work. My dogs are starting to make a bunch of noise right now because it must be that time. Yeah, ooh, I'm late. Um, every day at 6.30 to 7-ish, they uh, start getting a little crazy because I give them a snack. <laughs> and they know the time without wearing a watch. They know what time it is. So they're starting to make a bunch of noise. You can hear them around my feet. I'll stop in a minute and give them their, we call it snacky snack. I gotta say it quiet because they're gonna <laughs> hear me. Okay, so I've come around to the first stitch that I made in this row, and you should have um, 36 stitches all the way around for the rest of this project. I'll count just to confirm, because that's how obsessively compulsive I can be. <laughs> and 36, yay. Okay, so from this point on, that's all we're doing. Okay, round and round and round. Um, as tall as you want it. I'll keep on working and check back in with you. Is it snacky snack time? Is it snacky snack? All right, Diego. Here you go. Oh boy. Rita, you ready for your snacky snack? Oh boy. Whoop. Here we go. Okay, guys, checking back in. I am just about to start row 10. I wanted to give you a little look at how things are coming along. All right, guys, just finished row 15. I think I'll do 10 more. I'm going to try uh, putting a can in to check the height at the end, see if it's where I want it to be or not. So I'm about halfway there, I think. So I'm going to call it quits here. I didn't quite make 25 rows. I'm stopping at 23. I decided to stop because when I did a little test drive with my can, I felt like this was a really good level to stop. Normally to end a project, I would just pull my yarn through and uh, create a knot at the end, but I don't want a knot on this finished edge. So what I'm going to do is cut my yarn And I'm just going to bring it through my last stitch. Okay, now I'm going to put my needle on my yarn. And what I'm going to do is try to make this yarn blend in with my stitches. Uh, so what I'm going to do is not in this stitch, but the next one, I'm going to put my needle in and come in through the back and give it a little 
goal here. Okay, now I'm going to bring my needle back into this loop and down into my work. Okay, and if you look now, you really can't see where I ended off. It looks just like another stitch right there. Okay, so now I'm just going to have to sew in my end. So you can turn your work inside out to do this or just work from the back side of your work. Um, you want to feed your, work, your thread in underneath your stitches and you're going to want to do quite a bit of working in because you don't want this coming undone. Okay, so once I've fed it through and I feel like it's going to stay, trim it. And we'll try our koozie on for size. All right, guys, there it is. That is our koozie for our can. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.